What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do a little comparison video for you on muzzle brakes versus flash hiders. So let's jump into it. So I recently went to the range, took a couple ARs, two of them had muzzle brakes, one of them had just a regular A2 flash hider. So I want to do a little comparison and see if it makes a difference, if it's worth the money. So I want to go over those with you. So the first one I took is this AR pistol. It just has a standard bird cage on it, A2 flash hider. Um, Second one I took is my son's 16 inch AR. It has a Strike Industries triple crown compensator slash muzzle brake. And the third one I took is my 18 inch AR. These are all chambered in 223556. This one has a whip machine muzzle brake, three ports, wide open. So let's look and see what the differences are when you're actually shooting them. And then I'll go over differences in price, if it's worth it or not, and if I'd recommend that you guys buy any of these. an AR it's got the bird cage the A2 flash hider these things do great hide and flash other than that they don't do anything I don't think they give you any uh, compensating advantages anything um, this one is not as loud as the other two the other two are a lot louder when shooting it but this one doesn't reduce felt recoil or anything this was the the worst in the recoil department, I would say. Some of it may have to do with the pistol configuration. Um, this one, the Triple Crown from Strike Industries, it works great for reducing recoil. Still has a little bit of flash, but it's loud, like really loud. I like the look of it. It does what it's supposed to do, reduces recoil. It also has some compensating effect where the gas comes out the top and helps keep that barrel down when you're shooting. Those ones, um, I'm not sure on the price. I'll, I'll throw it up on the screen. Um, 
but it works good. Now the machine, it's wide open as you can see, big old ports on that thing. Um, this one also is loud and it definitely reduces recoil. I would say this is probably the best reducing recoil, probably due to those very large ports. Also, this one, they call it the SME sound mitigation equipment. I got the Slimline series, so it you can shoot it as, as such, like I have it right here. Just a muzzle brake. But it also comes with a blast shield that you can throw on it, which knocks the sound way down. Especially at an indoor range like I was at. This thing is a lifesaver. It directs all that sound downrange. It doesn't reduce recoil as much with the blast shield on it, but it's better than the birdcage with the blast shield. Um, so that's what it looks like. This is a slimline version. These are regularly about 170 bucks on their website, so they're not cheap. They do do sales quite often. Um, one thing I noticed with this, the downside, is if you remember in the shooting footage, some of that gas, it's not airtight some of that gas still comes out the back with that blast shield on uh, you can probably see it in the in the video but overall sound this is right in the middle with just the muzzle brake and it's at the top of the list with the with the blast shield on it now the strike industries triple crown also you can purchase a a blast shield or blast forwarding device. Um, they call them the oppressor. They're available on their website. I think they're about 100, 145, 150 bucks just for the oppressor. So you have to have the muzzle brake and the oppressor. But it it's a quick connect. It doesn't thread on like that. It's got it goes right on these. I don't know if you can see that the lugs, and it's a quick connect. I, I believe it's spring loaded. You push it on and twist it. I haven't tried one of those out. I don't have one to try out, um, but I might get one in the future and try that out, especially for shooting at indoor ranges. That would probably help sound quite a bit. But as you can see in the shooting footage, this thing sends gases everywhere. You can probably see the camera shaking and everything. <laughs> all right, so after looking at all these, checking out the range footage, my opinion, I think this one the whip machine is at the top of the list as far as silt recoil goes. Also, it comes with the blast shield and it's only 170 bucks retail. Um, second place, as you could probably guess, is the Strike Industries. Um, Price-wise, the whip machine is better. Felt recoil, I believe it's better. Also, this one you gotta buy the muz muzzle brake and the oppressor which is added cost i might change my opinion but as of right now the whip machine takes the cake um so i would rank whip machine then the strike industries and then the standard flash hider now i do have other guns with different muzzle brakes different muzzle devices um that i want to work in and and do a maybe a little more comprehensive video with more than just three guns. These are just the ones I had. Um, so maybe we'll do, I'll do that in the future, but I'll put links for all this stuff in the description. I'll link over to my website and I'll have the muzzle brakes, the um, SME from Wet Machine. I won't link the bird cage because they're a dime a dozen uh, and pretty much every AR that you buy from the factory comes with one, unless it's a higher end AR. I'll also link to the oppressor so you guys can check that out and then I'll write up build lists on all three of these guns um, that I've done and I'll I'll link to those as well so go over there check that stuff out also don't forget to subscribe leave a comment hit that thumbs up button uh, it really helps out and I hope you liked it and we'll check you on the next one